This isn't just an innocent teddy bear, and these tennis balls are way more than just Obviously, tennis yeah. balls. Yeah. These two moms are finding out that drugs can be hidden in the most unlikely of places. Donna DeStefano has a daughter recovering from drug addiction, and Karen Stout has three teenage daughters. If we see little changes in behavior, um, a sudden unexplained drop in grades, maybe looking around the room and seeing something could give an explanation to that. DEA Special Agent Timothy McMahon says drugs can be found in unlikely places around the home. He enlisted the assistance of former drug addict Brian Alzate to hide the drugs around Donna's house. About that teddy bear. Undo a couple stitches and a perfect hiding spot for a little baggie of marijuana. Same with tennis balls. Just slit a hole in them and it's a perfect place to hide drugs. In this case, a hairbrush is more than just a hairbrush. The head slides off, turn it upside down and it opens up, and there you have a little baggie of marijuana. This looks like a tube of suntan lotion, but look again. You put a funnel in it and it holds liquor. And look at this. Drugs can be stashed in the sweatband of a baseball cap. As for your daughter's lipstick, well, it could really be a drug pipe. If it's in a makeup bag or in a, a purse, just looking in at it, you just think it's just a regular tube of lipstick. Brian says he used to hide drugs in a container of protein powder. Another place to hide narcotics is to cut a slit into the backpack straps. What we want you to do is go through the room. It was time to put these moms to the test. Could they zero in on where drugs were concealed? They discovered the drugs in the teddy bear. Uh-oh. Soda doesn't sound like that. And what looked like a can of soda surprised them. The top twists off to hide drugs. Oh my God, look at that. Also, beware of sneakers. Well, you just put your hand in and you're feeling around to see if there's anything. All you have to do is pull up the sole. Oh, we didn't wow. do that. I, yeah. And yeah. We just okay. a couple little yeah, baggies just... of marijuana. Right. And here's a real shocker. When you guys were looking, you, you were looking around the bathroom. Right. But I don't think you got what was what we was over here. We didn't lift the lid or look behind. Take the lid off. Oh, oh look you at that. You have a little container just floating on, sitting on top of the water. Wow. I cannot believe the everyday things that are in your home that can be something not innocent and you think that it's totally innocent. Mm -hmm.